The mystery of bar wrapping. Well, you know, you got yourself a road bike and you either bought it new or used, but at some point, these will need to be replaced. And just like anything else, if you want to put on a new pair of socks when you go for a ride, not saying you want to switch these out every time, but after a while they get sweaty and grody. Anywho, let's go over a few tips and tricks how to either when taking it off and replacing it and putting it back on a new bar tape after this. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the guy. Obviously, I have a garage shop. Taking scary how to use bikes one bike at a time. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Hi, welcome to back to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. We're talking about bar tape today. And I thought this would be a very good example of a particular bar tape to take off because it's not just one bar tape and it's kind of grody and taped. So if you like bought this used, you got to do some actual extra work to make this really nice and clean. But by doing so, you'll need to uh, remove this first to get into new bar tape. Well, how I basically remove it is I take a knife, a box knife, or you can take scissors, something really you know sharp, but be very careful. I cut along the line of the housing, not to cut the housing, but just cut along the line of it, close to it, just for the first maybe wrap. And by then, I, then you can unwrap. And with this particular gym, um, they decided to wrap on top of the original bar tape uh, to give it extra padding. This is a practice, not very common, but it could be done, but it's kind of like putting bad on top of bad, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Also, it makes the grip really big, which make become an issue with fit basically so what you want to do is we unwrap these off and try to keep out of the way of the housing if you're going to reuse the housing try to be careful with it i'm going to take this guy off i'm going to show you one side Ugh. that just basically came off like so but i got another whole layer to work with and then, oh, this is gonna get sticky. So let's see, might have to do a little extra cutting and scraping. Wow. <laughs> wow, we got some craziness going on here. Let's take a peek. I'm gonna have to cut this further down just to see. And since I know I'm not replacing, I'm replacing the housing. I'm not too concerned about saving it, uh, but yeah, I, there is some weirdness going on here. So sometimes tape can get really super sticky ah, and uh, it tears. So sometimes you'll have to use a kind of a degreaser or something on top of that. So it looks like this is like three layers. The one I just pulled off and some something red underneath it, which really bad <laughs> Whew, boy let's take a look what that stuff is oh looks like it's some kind of a padding old school padding inserts <laughs> which might be pretty difficult to deal with So sometimes you'll need to use heat, like a heat gun, to loosen up the gummy stuff or a degreaser to get some of the stuff off. So that's where it can get really a tricky bit. Um, this is like horrible paper stuff. Um, but anywho, that's how you get the bar exposed. And then I would, you know, depending, uh, Maybe I can get the stuff on. Anywho, once I get it completely cleared and all this old gunk off, oh, um, hopefully they use electrical tape. Sometimes people put electrical tape all the way around. Ah, which is gonna save me here because I don't have to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. One more. Yeah, I like wearing gloves on this, but sometimes you get some really old, gunky, sticky stuff, which is horrible. 
So you get that bar exposed. I mean, look at this bar too. This, this one has indentation here and also indentation on the back. Well, the reason being is some of the, even back then, this period Campanoli had um, housing that came out for the shifter as well. Newer ones have shifter cables and housing. That's where that housing would lie on both sides and that'd give you that more of a round. So what you could do, even though this doesn't, the shifter doesn't have that cable, you can actually tape a, a cable, a cut piece cable, and tape it down to mimic that particular coverage, or you can just leave it whatever you prefer. If you want that more of a full rounded effect instead of indentation, you can do that as a trick, and the brake cable is going to come through here anyway, so you'll have that coverage on this side as well. So. I'm going to proceed to clean this off, but after I get the shifters cleaned and get them reinstalled and strung up, and I'll show you that trip uh, trick of putting that piece of housing on the back side and also wrapping the bars. So let me get back to cleaning this. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Anyway, we'll make this nice and clean <laughs> after after this. Whew, that was something. Oh my goodness, getting all that gunk tape was pretty much of a challenge. But hey, um, kudos to the prior mechanic. It had been a mechanic. They pre-taped uh, electrical tape underneath it, putting that sticky stuff on there. So they've had experience with that before of not able to get it off. So all I had to do is unravel that uh, electrical tape underneath off and peeled right off and cleaned up quite well. A lot easier than constantly scraping with a razor blade and with very strong cleaners to make it, you know, clean like it is now. So, but where we're at now, the stage is wrapping the bars. I got all the drivetrain clean and the frame clean and all that. Um, now I got my uh, brake housing sitting here, so I'll need to uh, tape those down. But I wanted to put those inserts on the back side to kind of buff out that portion. So I'm gonna take the old piece of cable housing that I just replaced. So this is all, has all brand new cables and housing. And I'm just gonna measure that bend. So where it pops back up and goes back down, that's where I'm gonna measure it at and then cut it. And this side has a little bit of flare out, so I'm gonna trim that off. Ugh. Push the little things all over this. So keep this aside. Then I'm gonna pre I'm gonna do tape in two spots around the corner here and closer to the inside towards the stem. And find the lead on this. There it is. So this is just uh, like a little extra step. Um, you don't need to do that. A lot of people don't. They just kind of leave it as a gap and just kind of fills in with bar tape. I wanted to push that piece in, kind of show you how that is done. And you do, you take that piece, hold it with your thumb, and with that piece, where it depends where it goes. Okay, it's a smidgen long. I'm going to cut it around about that much off. So back to measuring. Okay. So this has a memory, right? So it's not gonna. I don't want it to poke up and hurt anybody. So I'm gonna take that electrical tape and go over the end of this multiple times. So it fills in that gap. Now on the other side, where you see this portion right here, in the back on the thumb, and here, same thing. Kind of wrap it a couple times, make sure I cover that in so it doesn't pull, poke up. And there we go. It's uh, in position. And I'm not too worried about the middle part. I mean, you can tape up all the way around if you wanted. I don't think it's really necessary because the bar tape is going to pr compress it down. So on to the next. So I got my um, 
tape unboxed, and I'm going to do my two, well, I'm going to do this ink cut, wrap this one side, so I can put a little into it so it doesn't flare up, so it's more of a triangle. where I can grab them easily. Alright. Then those are those end pieces. Or the, not end pieces. They go underneath the shifter. So I like to be a little short on these. Not overlap too much inside here. So just what's covered the actual steel band. I come both at the same time so it's equal. Peel it off so it's ready. And I'm ready to wrap. Not like, you know, wrapping, wrapping. Just not like wrapping, like gift wrapping. <laughs> Bar wrapping. This particular one doesn't have logos on it, so what I like to do is uh, start with the curliest side, which is that side. Hold on. So I'm not fighting it as I'm trying to cut a straight line at my end point. So I'm at this end here. I like to have a little bit of overhang, about you know half of the tape, wrap it around. Reason being is I like to fold that extra in with the bar and plug, which is your final piece. So I like to go in and over. There's several different ways of wrapping. This is not the best of be all of everything. Everybody has their own technique and what they like. This is what I've been trained on 30 years ago. Um, and it's kind of, <laughs> I tried it other ways and it just feels unnatural because I've been doing it this way for so long. So you cover where the taff here, you want to wrap it midway point. Um, if, you, if you have shorter bars or skinnier bars like this, you can have more of an overlap, which will give you essentially more cushion. So you just keep wrapping it and try to keep it even when you hit the turns or the bends. And some people don't use this portion of the bar all too much, so I leave it a little more spread out there and give it a little more extra lap coverage when doing the corner up top here. Reason being gives you a little more extra padding for those areas where you're gonna be the most. So, like so, grab my piece. This is where it gets tricky, flip it over. Show you how where it is it's on, the, on the back side, and you'll realize one side you wrap better than the other. So this is my odd side. So this one I don't wrap as smoothly. So get one more good one. I don't know. It's just because maybe I'm right-handed. <laughs> the right side of the bar is awkward to me, and I go over under and back over this way so the bar tape's going forward. So there's several different ways. People like to do the wraparound type deal. Um, that's just not how I learned. And you're keeping it a taut, a taut tension on it the whole time, kind of stretching it a little bit. If you're worried about breaking it, always take a little piece and kind of see. If you haven't wrapped it at all before, take a little piece or the piece of tape that you're about ready, a small section, very small and kind of tug it and see how far it goes until it breaks. Because usually you have excess, especially on smaller bars. If you have way big bars, like 44 um, centimeters across, then you're gonna need every, every centimeter of that tape. So, as you can see, it's nicely wrapping over that extra piece of housing to give it more of a round effect so it doesn't have that internal gap and bar tape itself is holding it in place. And since you're keeping it taut, tight tension, whatever fabulous word you want to use, keep going. And here. So here's a little trick that I've learned recently is I like to cut in is here on the back side. So that's where my stop point is, where I'm going to cut. Reason being is when I cut it and it folds over, it's even, and I do the same on the other side. You don't really see the pointy end on top. It goes underneath. If lucky. <laughs> so 
So see how it rolls down and the pointy end is gonna wrap underneath. I grab my other pointy end that I cut here, push that underneath, hold it tight. Then first wrap, uh, wrap around, I pull it pretty tight so it really gets skinny. So I'm stretching that electrical tape. And the next round of less tension so it widens just a little bit. So you can do three or four wraps. So you have a nice clean wrap there. Then once I'm at that point, you lose your scissors. Then <laughs> cut on the downside about an inch down. Save that excess for later. Do another pointy end cut. Like so, that way there's nothing that like kind of catches or flicks up when you're doing that. Then you wrap it underneath, like so. Nice and clean, roll your bar cover back over. And last but not least, put your end cap over the end, folding that excess over. There you go. Nicely wrapped even all the way around. A little extra overlap on top here with that extra piece of housing on the back side. You don't even really notice it. It kind of just blends in. Gives you that extra comfort and cush. There you go. Wrapping 101 on this little mom. So I'll proceed on the other side and try to make it symmetrical. That's the challenge, make it look even on the both sides. Anywho, here's some pictures of the final product of the light. Check it out.